As you can tell by the title of this video, I want to show you how to quickly get the best sounding audio for your A-roll or your voiceover. I've seen a lot of videos take this process and turn it into this huge monster, which can kind of make it an intimidating process for new creators. You can literally do this within a few steps within Adobe Audition. Now, with that being said, this video is going to be primarily focusing with Adobe Premiere and how I direct link with Adobe Audition. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into what it is that I do for this process. And then maybe you can learn something and hopefully you can take something away that helps you create better videos with better sounding audio. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, the first things that I always do is I make sure that my audio is recorded cleanly. Uh, you can see that none of it's peaking in the source audio. And before we move into Adobe Audition, I like to remove any uh, scratch audio tracks or uh, backup audio tracks before we process it in Adobe Audition. Audition. So to do so, I have these three separate tracks below here. I just hold Option and select those three and then hit the Delete key and we're ready to rock and roll. From here, right clicking the clip in your sequence will bring up a, a certain set of menu options. The one we want to focus on is Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. So we click that. It's going to render that and put it into Adobe Audition through its dynamic linking processes. Now we have audio that can be edited. All right, so now we have our audio in Adobe Audition using Adobe's direct linking capabilities. So this audio is associated with the video clip that is in Premiere Pro. The first thing that I want to do to this is under the effects rack, I want to go to amplitude and compression and select multiband compressor. If we move this over to the side for a minute, we can see that there are some elements of concern throughout this audio clip. It looks like it's been recorded a little too hot, but that's okay because that happens. So with that multiband compressor selected, under the presets menu, we're going to select broadcast. Broadcast is a, a subset or a preset that has uh, been defined by Adobe that meets broadcast requirements. I don't make any other adjustments to anything to this. I just hit apply that effect and we're good to go. Now, this clip has been kind of normalized and compressed, so no more elements of peaking to be concerned with. But if you recorded your audio on a lavalier microphone that doesn't uh, represent the lows too well, I highly recommend that you consider doing this next step. If not, it's usually okay and your audio is ready to go. You can just hit save, go back to Adobe, uh, Premiere and then your audio will be processed to this point. But I highly recommend that you consider uh, doing this next step. So within the effects uh, panel, we're going to hit uh, filter and EQ and we're going to select parametric equalizer. And then in here, we're going to hit the preset menu and hit loudness maximizer. There are a couple of elements that I would, uh, that I kind of want to bring to your attention. The, well, actually just one. It's the lows. It's at plus three decibels. And that's the default. And I would leave it at that and it'd be just fine. But there are some microphones out there that don't represent the lows too well and you kind of want to boost those. I wouldn't go beyond plus six decibels because after that it just sounds unnatural and you're trying to push the microphone beyond its capabilities. I'm just going to leave it at three decibels and then I'm going to hit apply effect. From there, you can see that the clip has a lot of elements of concern because there's a lot of peaking going on here. I don't want to normalize this or equalize this again because I don't want to overprocess my audio. Overprocess audio sounds like crap. And I want to keep the conversation element alive and make this audio sound more personable. So with that being said, let's go ahead and drop this down by one decibel. That should solve the problem. And it has. There's just one more element here and I can kind of process that on its own accord uh, by just dragging and selecting and bringing it down just a little bit. Okay, so there is my final product. And sound is subjective, so in my opinion, I think you should push your audio to its loudest possible capabilities because you don't know what kind of device the person that is watching your video is on. There's nothing worse than bad audio that you can't hear. That's like the first two things that will drive a viewer away from your video and you don't want that to happen. So now that I've kind of uh, equalized all of this, uh, we're going to hit save, but I wanna give you kind of an opportunity to hear what the audio sounded like before we did all this processing. 
As you can tell by the title of this video, I want to show you how to quickly get the best sounding audio for your A-roll or your voiceover. And one more time. As you can tell by the title of this video, I want to show you how to quickly get the best sounding audio for your A-roll or your voiceover. So that, that sounds fantastic. Then I'm just going to hit save. My adjustments will become apparent in my Premiere uh, project and I'm ready to finish my video. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. I wanted to make something that was short and sweet and to the point and give you the tools that you need to quickly make adjustments to audio without over processing your voiceover. Uh, making it sound bad. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.